he has like this personality where even if he's griefing the game, like getting caught over and over again, he still has fun. He's like laughing in his chair, giggling to himself, saying like, guys, it's still free win. We can't lose. Don't worry. He really showed us and he showed me that he cared about winning. He really helped us, like he really stepped up when we needed him, like for our game five to qualify for Worlds against DSM. He still be positive regardless of a negative event happening. When you play with one of the greats, you learn a lot. Yeah, I'll miss him a lot and wish him the best in Europe. They can gank me, but they can't shut me down. <laughs> and the favorite memory is lifting the LCS trophy on the first bit I got there. Uh, I mean, also like on the rip, like making our groups. That was actually maybe that's even more. Actually, I didn't even think about it. I think beating EU in a tiebreaker to make it our groups might just be a more favorite memory than lifting a trophy. But it's hard. They're pretty close. I mean, it was probably it was probably one of my it's probably one of my favorite titles. I think this time around. It, uh, it was just like a whole different atmosphere, environment, culture that I had to adapt to. So I think it just showcased me, my own personal ability to do such things instead of, I guess, the circumstances I'm surrounded with. I felt like I could uh, make an impact in those series in playoffs and that felt, that felt good, yeah. And Team Liquid. They won the regular season. They stayed in the upper bracket. And Cloud9 are your first ever mid season showdown champions. I mean, the year has been definitely like turbo weird for me. Like, everything was closed in LA for a good amount of time. And we were also like kind of quarantining as well in C9. We were very strict. Uh, there was workouts that you had to attend for a team bonding, which I kind of understand but I had problems sleeping. Actually, first time in my life, I had like on occasions problems with sleep and was struggling with like, yeah, I guess the stress or like the change, everything around that. Um, obviously change of team culture, team atmosphere, playing with different people, having to learn again Midland, I mean, which I know how to play, but I still have to learn again, you know, to get really good at it, get really good at my learning phase or get really good at knowing what I have to say for my team because each team is different and this year was definitely a big personal uh, challenge for me. I mean besides that I definitely miss being on the same continent as my family and my friends so even though I got used to time zones I still think the distance is very felt and it's I'm at the point of my life where I mean <laughs> I don't want to sound like I'm old or something but I'm getting to the point where I'm mature enough to know that I don't want to build a life or a career for myself in LA. My life belongs to Europe and to my, like, I, I want to live in Croatia sometime in the future. I don't want to, like, move to LA. And Berlin is pretty close. And I've been there the most of my growing up. I mean, like, the, the most important years, like, from 17 up until basically this year, I was there. And it feels kind of like a second home there. And then, of course, the big uh, part is just being closer to where I come from. And yeah, so moving forward, uh, I will not be playing for Cloud9 next year. Uh, this is a decision that I've come to not on result based analysis, but basically on what I said and more personal and private stuff, right? So, which I actually told to Jack about over a month ago or something. Um, Jack has been very supportive and very understanding of my reasonings and he's actually been yeah very nice to me very kind um definitely it would feel really bad if he didn't make it a group considering the investment cloud i put into me this year getting me out of the g2 contract jail so i'm definitely very grateful for the opportunity given and i'm i'm very happy that i get i had a beautiful staff and team built around my coming over here. Well, not really, I guess, around me only, but I feel like Jack put a lot of effort into making a team good uh, for this year. Uh, and it's just been, you know, honestly, it's been a very nice ride. I think Sinan you know, it just literally gave me everything I needed or wanted. Um, they've taken care of me very well. I think it's been very fun. 
play with everybody and learn new perspectives in the game, new uh, personalities. Um, Pudge is just great at self-improving and he's, he's gone a long way. Uh, Lover, he didn't die to crap this world. This is like insane. <laughs> it's been pretty fun to play with Jasper again. Uh, we, I've known him for a long time, so it's been an adventurous ride. And for Vulcan, I hope that the next time we see each other at an event, then maybe you can beat me in chess, because there's no proof right now, but we all know that I hold the high record, so. <laughs> it's honestly unlucky that it's like the circumstances, like if Sina was in EU playing in the LSC right now, I would probably not be sending this video to you guys, but it's just what life is about and my path is somewhere else. And yeah, I'm definitely very grateful for the adventure. I will not, I'll never forget it obviously. And all the people I've met and had fun with this year. And yeah, I mean, I'm just super grateful for the fact that all of this was possible and given to me. So yeah, it's been fun. so much fun here and I'm grateful for all the support I got. I feel pretty supported by the CNM fans and I'm hopeful that the next team that Jack will build as well, next next iteration without me in the roster, will also be successful because uh, that's kind of what CNM does. <laughs>